It's one of the busiest and most efficient international container ports in the world, connecting to more than 600 destinations worldwide. Last year, Hong Kong handled around 18 million containers. But over recent months, port activity has slowed, with the shipping industry facing a shortage of containers in Asia, and that's triggered a surge in costs. It's gone up considerably. I mean, it's almost gone up by four times, uh, say, moving a container from Asia to Europe or to the States. So uh, people are just going to have to uh, get used to paying that. The shortage of containers has not only triggered a rise in prices, but it's also caused a heavy backlog in Asia, with some exporters struggling to get products to customers. China is ramping up container production to meet the demand, but a consumer shift from services to goods during the pandemic continues to drive up production and exports from Asia. So the shortage is in Asia because the problem is we are export exporting more, so it is in Asia. The pandemic has also impacted staffing numbers at ports and is compounding the problem. Limited availability of truck drivers and dock workers means it's taking longer to unload and pack the ships. That's creating floating traffic jams at ports around the world. This uh, means that containers are being staying outside for longer periods of time. In fact, we're finding that there's empty containers now stranded all over North America and Europe, Australia in the middle of nowhere just waiting to be returned, but there's not a trucker or a chassis to take it back. The container shortage and the pandemic has caused major disruption to world trade. Analysts say the crisis shows no sign of easing just yet. It's a global supply chain crisis for sure. We think it's going to last uh, through to the fourth quarter and possibly through to the end of this year in some degree or another. I think it's going to improve for sure, but I think it is going to be a, a fact of life uh, for most of 2021. If that's the case, the shipping industry will continue to pay premium rates with consumers bearing the brunt of the higher costs. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.